Uh, now let's talk about some breaking news. We've got details about a story that we've been following since yesterday afternoon. In the last 20 minutes, we've learned why the FBI arrested D.C. Council Member Treon White. Now, according to a release from the U.S. Attorney for D.C., White has been charged with bribery. He's accused of uh, agreeing to pressure D.C. government officials for contract renewals in exchange for $156,000 in cash. Investigators say those officials worked at the Office of Neighborhood Safety and Engagement by DYRS. Now, the contracts in question involve two companies providing violence intervention services in the district. The Ward 8 council member was arrested around 2 p.m. yesterday in southeast Washington. Witnesses tell us the FBI surrounded the area and went into an apartment complex on K Street with long guns and went up to the penthouse suite. Yeah, it definitely looked like it was something pretty serious. They had the block shut off for a good time. Now, we've reached out to White's office and his campaign staff, but have not heard back just yet. White is expected to appear in court this afternoon. We'll have updates later this evening on the news at 4, 5, and 6. What's good with y'all, Mo? Welcome back to Paperwork TV. A lot has been going on in the city lately, bruh. Ward 8 City Council member Treyon White was placed under arrest this past Sunday, August 18th, and indicted for bribery after being set up by another alleged politician turned informant. Also, at the end of this story, I will be posting the official paperwork of this case, so y'all can read it for yourselves. Now, if you haven't done so, please do me a favor and go and follow me on the gram at Paperwork TV 202 for uncensored content that I cannot post on YouTube. Before we get into this story, I need y'all to go and smash that like and subscribe button for me, Mo. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. D.C. Councilmember Treyon White Sr. has just been arrested. On Sunday, the FBI arrested D.C. Councilmember Treyon White Sr., representative for Ward 8 for federal bribery charges. The Justice Department alleges White accepted $156,000 in cash bribes to influence government contracts. White, who chairs the Council's Committee on Recreation, Libraries, and Youth Affairs, is accused of pressuring employees at the Office of Neighborhood Safety and Engagement and the Department of Youth Rehabilitation Services. The contracts in question are valued at $5.2 million for violence intervention services. Allegedly, White received multiple cash payments and luxurious trips to the Dominican Republic and Las Vegas. Yesterday, White appeared in court but did not enter a plea. He was released with conditions, including surrendering his passport. If convicted, White faces up to 15 years in prison. His next court appearance is scheduled for September 19th. News reports read as follows. D.C. Councilmember Trey and White was arrested Sunday on a criminal complaint charging him with bribery, according to the U.S. Department of Justice. White, 40, who chairs the Council's Committee on Recreation, Libraries, and Youth Affairs, is accused of accepting $156,000 in cash payments in exchange for using his position to influence contract renewals. He was released on bond Monday on his own recognizance. The bribery charge carries up to 15 years in jail, up to a $250,000 fine or three times the amount of the alleged bribe, according to the judge. He is required to surrender his passport. He must also notify the court if he plans to leave a 50 mile radius from DC, but no approval is needed. He is not allowed to contact any witnesses specifically connected to the case, but because of his position, he can talk to witnesses, just not about the case. White's defense waived his preliminary hearing. His next court date is scheduled for September 19th and is a status conference hearing. Dozens of people who were supporting White were in court Monday. D.C. Councilmember Treyon White arrested by FBI. Chairman confirms the criminal complaint alleges that beginning in June 2024, White agreed to accept the cash to pressure employees at the Office of Neighborhood Safety and Engagement, ONC, and the Department of Youth Rehabilitation Services, DYRs to extend contracts worth $5.2 million for violence intervention services in the district. The $156,000 represented 3% of the total contract value. According to the complaint, White's agreement with a confidential source who owns the companies involved included four separate cash payments of $35,000 each. The transactions and discussions were reportedly captured on video. Earlier this year, news sources reported that White owes thousands in fines related to campaign funds. The Washington City Paper reported that the D.C. Office of Campaign Finance imposed a $20,000 fine on White and his campaign treasurer. Additionally, White reportedly owes nearly $59,000 in public funds received through DCS Fair Elections Program. 
when news sources asked about the $59,000 in campaign funds back in March, White stated he is working with his attorney and accountant to resolve the issue. Also, this may or may not have something to do with this case, but let's take a look at this post that Treyon made a while back. I'm no genius, but I think that Treyon may have created some enemies that he wasn't even aware of with this post. But hey, I'm just a YouTuber, bruh. And it just started snowing out of nowhere this morning, man. Y'all better pay attention to this climate control, man. This climate manipulation. And DC keep talking about we're a resilient city. And that's a model based off the Rothschilds controlling the climate to create natural disasters. They can pay for it and own the cities, man. Be careful. Now here's the paperwork for the Trayon White case.
Do y'all think that one of Trayan's good men was the one that ended up cooperating with the feds? Do y'all think that all of this is coming at Trayon because of his alleged anti-Semitic rant that he had on his IG a while ago? Or do you just think that Trayon got caught up in the political life and just let it get to his head? I don't know, bruh. All of this is just a jive wild story if you ask me. Be sure to leave an opinion down in the comments. Y'all know that I'm reading them. With all that being said, be safe out here, y'all. And most importantly, stay dangerous, Mo.